Good morning, everybody. It's seven, ten minutes past seven, and I'm rigging my crab pot for another fishing experience. And today we're going to try our luck in this nice shady place of Putri Harbour Pier. It's a fasting month, so my target is going to be like <clears throat> two or three hours max to try our luck. going to use the same technique putting in some sardines whole sardines inside there oh I almost forgot something we have to tie the bottom this is actually the release hole where you extract your catch once you've got something trapped in your pot or your trap make sure to tie it firm and well so that the things or the creatures that you trap will not escape right what you do is you just cut it in half so Just, I'm gonna put it in through these holes here, just shove it in, put it at the corners, and then because we are we're just going to spend like three hours over here, so we're just going to use two sardines. There you go, and this goes to the other ends of our crab pot. Yeah. Always remember to bring your wet tissue and every time you go for fishing so that you can have something to wipe your tools in your hand avoiding all of the fishy stench from ruining your drive back home, right? Okay, now I want to show you the challenge. So I can see that's the water there. There's a ledge over there, which is quite shallow. I want to throw it over there, but this crab pot is very light. So we have I've discovered a new technique. You can see the tide is still shallow, so we arrived early in the morning. So now, when we cast our pot, we're gonna leave it to soak there for three hours. And by the time the three hours is reached, has been reached, we're going to see what we can get in our crab pot. Not necessarily that we are targeting crab, but other fishes too will be in there, I presume. So, we're going to Our normal fishing line onto the ropes of our crab pot. So, 
do remember to tie the end of your ropes to something and for this distance to my trolley so that you, you will not lose the other end of your rope right okay. <coughs> so what we do is Just make sure that you don't tangle your ropes. Just put your clap pot over there. And then you cut it in. You can see there, we have extended our pole, so it's easier to cut it in. So now we wait for three hours. Meanwhile, I'm going to rake the other rod of mine. Actually, it's my wife's. So this is for the fun. Let's see what we can get. So for our fishing rod, I'm using this five hooks combo. <laughs> Right, like so. So it is time for us to pick up our trap or our pot. So I'm going to just directly use uh, this rod to reel it in because the strength of the string is 30 pounds which is about 13 kilogram and I'm sure that the pot is no heavier than that. So let's go. Ooh. because the resistance of the water makes it heavy
I have small fries. We got small fries. Small fries. Hey. <laughs> ah, senang macam ni pakai joran. Alright. So let's see what we get. What we got. Some small fries. But no crabs. Ah. Small fries yang kecil yang. Apa tu? Cari kampung tal. Tu apa tu? Oi. Udang sikit. Eh, ikan ni tu. Ikan. Ikan baru ke tu? Mana? Yang belang-belang tu. Tak lah. So. Let's. So, do we get? What did we get? What did we got? Is that all? Eh, uh, can see that we we got some, but. Some small fries. And this this. Oops. Yeah, small fries. Look at those guys. Small fries. <laughs> oh well. Tough luck. We got this. Is that a trigger fish? Looks like a trigger fish. So that one got snack in the net. Pretty good. Just got to be careful because I think it's, it's got bark on its thorn there. That's another small fry. What fish is that? I'm not sure. Is that edible? I'm not sure. Oh, this one has to go into the hole. So, that's about it. One, two, three, four, five, six small fries. And this fella here, which still is snack in the pot. It's got bark on its thorn. So, I've got to be very, very careful about it. Okay, one is released, so another. Okay. okay, that looks like a coral fish. Huh. Looks like a coral fish. So this one deserves to be released back because not even there to eat it. There, that goes. Swimming. <clears throat> so that's about it. And what's this over here? Is it jellyfish? I do not dare to to touch that yet. But okay, this guy's too small. We decided to release release it back. The past kanya, chikachi sanga ayang. Two. Three. Slippery. 
for all. This is the biggest shopping mall. <laughs> five. That's the other one. I thought we have another one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there it is. Six. Here's one. There it is. Mm. Beautiful fish with all of, the, all of those stripes. But it's too small. Wonder what it is. Baby white, baby grouper. Show it to my wife before we release them. I think not. Oh, yo, banya. Nanti. Nanti, tapi kesini sangat. Okay. Time to release it. Go, guys. Okay, look. So it's disoriented. I hope that it will start swimming in a while. Okay, two, three. Three of them starts to wiggle around. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Let's try one more time. guys this time we got luckier we got crabs and we got fish look crabs and fish okay right we have one small fries two rock crabs and one of those, what fish is that? Two, two of those. What fish is that? I don't know. Okay. We got this fish. No, what's that again? This one is bigger than the one they got before. And we got one more over there. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Our final haul of our trap or pot before we call it a day uh, oh, it's heavy because of the water but uh, hope that it, there is something inside there for you for, we, for us to bring back let's hope so because this has been soaked like only 20 minutes so let's see if we're lucky Oh, we got a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a lot, eh? Oh, it can. Oh, we got more fish. <laughs> we got more fish. Oh, those trigger fish again. Trigger fish. Three of them. Trigger fish. Yeah. So of course, this this trigger fish. Or maybe I was wrong. What species is that? It always gets stuck in the net because of its barbs and thorns there. So, gonna take some time to take it out. Hold on, guys. So, three of these guys. Look. What do you call this fish? It has a blue mark over there, it has a thorn, some antennas, right? So, Another two of them, a little bit smaller, but not as small. I mean, I'm gonna bring it back. Oh, okay, this one is feisty. Uh, look at that. So, I'm going to do a conclusion later, right? When we reach home. See you later. Okay, I've just reached home safely. Uh, and I've just googled all of these uh, species of these fishes and this 
four, no, five of these, five of these are called the file fish. Yeah, probably because of the spines, looks like a file <clears throat> that you can use to file wood or metal, right? <laughs> and it is edible. And this one, this small fella, uh, I've released a couple of them, um, several of them, but this one seems to be accidentally tripped, got into the box, the ice box. So I got to, I think I just keep it because it's dead already. So this one is called the pygmy perch, and I've googled, and it can grow, even though it's a pygmy. The largest it, it can grow is about eighty-five millimeters, about less than ten centimeters, right? And this one is called the goby. <clears throat> Quite a nice looking fish. It's got its eyes, both of it, on the top of its head. Probably it lives on the uh, <clears throat> the depth of the water. The sand is a bottom feeder from the looks of its mouth down there. So this one is called the goby. And side of that, the star of the show, we got these two rock crabs, or Malays call it ketambangkang. It has only one claw. This one is, got its claw on its right hand, and this one's got a left claw. So these two are still are still uh, feisty, so I don't dare to touch them all. Let them uh, faint first inside this uh, frozen box. So with that, I would like to thank you for joining us in our fishing trip again in Putri Harbor. And I will definitely see you in the next adventure and the next fishing experience. Cheerio!